My name is Ankita Mandal and I have been enrolled in Akash Durgapur for the 2 year integrated classroom program. I live at my home with my parents and my grandparents and I am a single child. My father is Mr. Shujay Kumar Mandal and he is an engineer and my mother is Dr. Swati Shah and she is a pediatrician. My parents never forced their dreams upon me. They wanted me to do whatever makes me happy. Since my mother is a doctor, I was really inspired by her profession. And when I told my parents that I wanted to become a doctor too, they happily supported me in my dream. Akash has a legacy of excellent past results, and thus my seniors and my parents had recommended me to join Akash Durgapur. It is close to my home, and thus it made studies easier for me. I had heard from my friends that the teachers at Akash Durgapur were really interactive and helped us in solving all our doubts. I have seen the study packages beforehand and knew that they were really good for neat preparation. Hence, I was inspired to join Akash Bijus. I heard about Anthe earlier from my friends and my seniors. Anthe stands for Akash National Talent Hunt Examination. Anthe gives us a good understanding of the competition that we are going to face on the D-Day of the neat examination because it is written by a lot of students from all over the country. Also, Anthe gives us an All India rank, which helps us to understand our standing at a national level with our competitors. I had given Anthe in 2021 and secured an All India rank of 4 and also got a 100% scholarship. During my NEET preparation, whenever I used to get low scores, I used to get very depressed. I didn't want to do anything else and I would cry for a long time. But at that time, my family really motivated me and helped me to stay on track. Sometimes I used to get really low scores in the tests and that time I used to do one of the most important things that we need to do and that is test analysis. I used to analyze every mistake and consult my teachers for resolving those doubts so that I do not commit the same mistakes in my NEET examination. After class 10, I was really confused and I wondered how can I uh, complete the whole syllabus for NEET and especially the class 11th and 12th chapter seemed really difficult. But Akash made it very simple because the tests were scheduled according to the manner so that we don't get scared but by how much we have to complete. Thus, it helped me set my goals and helped me in charting out my performance. The teachers were really helpful and they helped us solving our doubts whenever we needed them. Also, the peer group in Akash is really wonderful. We had a healthy competition among our classmates. Consistency is the key to succeed in NEET. In the beginning of class 11th, I really had a very big problem in managing time for my studies. But later, I prepared a timetable so that I can chalk out my goals and complete them for every day. Also, I used to ask doubts to my teachers frequently so that I do not face problems in the future. And it is also very important to stay motivated and healthy. Staying away from distractions and social media is very important. These are all the key things that I think are important to succeed in NEET. NEET preparation and boards preparation are almost similar because both of them focus on the same book that is NCRT. We should read NCRT a number of times so that we can tackle the questions in both these examinations. Also, there are some extra subjects in boards like Maths, English and Physical Education for which we can parallelly continue the studies along with NEET. Thus, NEET and boards preparation can be managed successfully if we provide time to both. The last month is really crucial in our NEET preparation. Thus, we should not panic and take proper care of our health in this last month. Also, we should not leave any doubt unresolved and there should also be no backlogs, thus staying focused Calm and cool is the most important thing during the last month. First of all, I can never stress enough how important NCRT is for me. Read NCRT innumerable number of times so that while appearing for the examination, you don't have to think for the same question a lot of times because time is really short in need and you have to focus on NCRT so that you can save time. Secondly, if score comes a little less in tests, do not get scared. Instead, perform test analysis, analyze all your mistakes. Thirdly, do not leave any doubt unresolved. Consult your teachers as soon as possible because if any doubt remains unresolved, we always have a sense of underconfidence in need.
and lastly but not the least stay motivated never give up wishing you all the best for neat and thank you